Be at Green Bank and uh, quite a massive structure to be constructed here on a uh, quite a large block of land on a bit of about an acre I think we're on out here and uh, we've got a, a 16 meter by 7.2 insulated roof and as you can see we've began construction on the stump posts basically it's going to be rectangular in shape so there's going to be one back beam which is going to be sitting on six riser brackets and you can see our attachment here we've got three bolts which go along the uh, the rafter that comes down and sits off the top plate and holds up the eave as well so that just pops out through the fascia we can see the bolt there and you can see how it sits up against the fascia and underneath the gutter just there so we've got six of them to go on then we've got to cut it to height here and we've got brackets to sit our back beam on then we're gonna have I think it's four or five posts I'm not too sure at the moment but they're gonna be spanning pretty much from that barbecue area and pretty well spaced evenly along there holding up another beam which will be holding up our insulated roof sheets we'll um, get back to you bit later with an update. Beam stage is uh, complete looking rather nice there so 16 meters long two 8 meter beams joined together and uh, we're just about to get ready for the uh, adapter TV time you can see we've got a couple of progress sheets up you can see out the front Ryan's giving us a bit of a hand today he's uh, working hard with us 16 sheets to put up so uh, big task ahead but uh, you see we've uh, concreted in five posts and they're just being supported on the on the temporary props at the moment but uh, this perspective from here gives you actually how large this area is going to be you know we've got 7.2 going 16 meters long it's going to be a massive undercover area but uh it's going to look nice once the uh once the whole lot's covered so we'll get back you to can it tra in uh in action here as you see, we've got 16 sheets and they're quite long and they've been parked out the front of a quite a large property so we're just just driving them around the back oh what's Damo set up over here he's got a little bit of a uh, barrier to crush with a bit of the off cut of foam here then he's gonna crash through it in the big rig For Nitro Circus <laughs> Damo's been to Nitro Circus last night Sixteen meters of glorious roof space. You can see we're nearly done here at the moment. We're just uh, oh, Benny's just passing me up a gutter, but uh, we're just about to put the gutters on and tidy up everything up here. But uh, looking quite smart. You can see the, uh, the close gap we've got for uh, maximum weather protection. So, and there'll be no rain going over the top of the roof and onto the uh, undercover area out there. We'll screw this gutter on and uh, we'll have a finished project. Top so whilst it's finished, uh, all we need to do is just give it a blow and a hose down. But you can see how lovely it looks, all the barges scribed in and screwed off. Um, you'll notice there's a couple of wires there. There's four transformers there for uh, our lights underneath. There's eight lights and there's uh, two lights per transformer. So they're going to get connected in by an electrician at a later date. So we just sit them there ready for him to install. But uh, yeah, what a lovely large area of roof. Going to be amazing. We'll go down underneath in a second. Completion. What a lovely structure we have here. Damo's just going through with the owner of uh, what we've done for him here. A lovely job. Really nice. You can see the, the gap between the gutter and the beam over here. You can see uh, eight lights. Two there, two there. A couple down here. And uh, it's going to make a nice little barbecue area down here now. So, on a hot summer's day, you can sit in a nice, cool, insulated area, have a barbie, and uh, yeah, relax in the great outdoors of Australia. But that'll be us over and out from Greenbank. It's uh, been a pleasure, and I'm sure we'll see you next time. Bye for now.